Hello guys, welcome to another codingbat.com tutorial. Today we will be doing array 2, exercise shift left. The question says, return an array that is left shifted by 1. So 6, 2, 5, 3 returns 2, 5, 3, 6. You may modify and return the given array or return a new array. So if we look at the first example here, um, the 6 should go left. However, because there is no um, index before that, it will move all the way to the back. So as you can see here, um, the 2 will go to where the 6 was, the 5 will go to where the 2 was, and the 3 will go to where the 5 was, and so on and so forth for each of these examples. So, um, <clears throat> The, uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to keep track of what that first uh, number might be because as we are left shifting all, all of these elements of the array um, by an index less than one, um, our, our, uh, the first element in our array will basically disappear. So we want to keep track of what it is first. Uh, temp. Uh, so we create an integer array, temp, which stands for temporary, which is the first element. And we run a for loop. So for int i equals zero, i is less than num dot length, i plus plus. So the number at that position will be equal to. So uh, what we're doing here is basically whatever number is here is basically going to be changed to the number to the right of that. So here nums at i, which would be six, is changed so that it's equal to nums at i plus one, which is equal to two. So because we're using i plus 1 here, uh, we have to change the number of times the for loop iterates by minus 1. And then at the way end of the integer array, after, the, after we run through the for loop, we add that first element again. And then we return nums. However, in the case that... Um, in the case that an empty array is passed through this function, uh, we should not modify anything. So if uh, the length of the integer array is equal to one, then we can immediately just return that empty array. And we get all correct. 